But the two, the two stats that people always bring up when it comes to Daniel Jones, it's his interception totals and how they've improved and his completion percentage. Do people out there like hear themselves talk when they bring these two things up? Do you actually hear what's coming out of your mouth when you say these ridiculous things about Daniel Jones? Do you not realize that the highest he's ever been ranked in pass attempts in the NFL is 14th? 14th. And that year he had 472 pass attempts. 472. Tom Brady led the league with 733. The guy that was ranked 8th was Geno Smith. He had 572 when it comes to pass attempts. 572 pass attempts. That's a difference of 100 pass attempts in between him and Daniel Jones alone. So the top eight were at 572 plus. His next highest ranking was in 2020. He had 448 pass attempts. He was 19th in the league in pass attempts. I think the guy that led the league that year was, was Matt Ryan. I think he had 626 or something like that through 26 touchdowns and had maybe like 12 or 13 interceptions. In 22, Tom Brady threw for what? 43 touchdowns and had what, 11 or 12 interceptions on 733 pass attempts? Yeah, I'd like to see Daniel Jones do that. I don't, I don't think that's that's even in the cards for him. Of, of course it's not, because we're, we're comparing Tom Brady to, to Daniel Jones. It's, it's not in, in the cards for him. Doesn't even make any sense. So, if you're in the bottom half of pass attempts constantly, year in and year out, of course you're going to have low interception totals. You should have low intercep interception totals. You should not be leading the league in interceptions when you're in the bottom half of the league in pass attempts. And then people want to talk about his his, his completion percentage. It's like, yeah, the, the guy doesn't be barely throws the ball past the line of scrimmage. All of his passes are in between five and ten yards. He should have a high completion percentage. These are high percentage throws. These are throws an NFL quarterback should be making. He's not pushing the ball down the field and 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 making those low percentage throws. Those, those throws that are a little bit tougher to, to actually complete down the field, you know, so he's not really, he's not doing things like that that could, that could dramatically affect his completion percentage. So why do people constantly bring up these two things? Like they have any kind of legitimacy to them. I mean, every time I hear people bring this stuff up, I just look at, and I watch a video of them, I'm just sitting there looking at them like they're crazy. Like, what are you talking about, man? Like, I don't know how these Jones supporters out here can still continue to come out here and say this crazy stuff. Because you know what the stats are, and you continue to say it. 